Alrighty guys, what is going on? Linky here and welcome to the Theta SMP server guys. That is right, I have decided to join a brand new survival multiplayer server. This is the Theta SMP server, everybody. Now, Theta is an SMP server started by Gapple, and it is just amazing. I'm going to pull up my phone right now, right next to me. We're going to pull up Theta SMP's Twitter account, and we're going to go over all of the different members of the Theta SMP server. And you get just to let you guys get to know the group and everything, it's going to be really awesome. So, pull it up here. We have 14 members in the group. It's myself. DJ Megatron, Pyrus MC, Voss, Scorpy, Sansu, Rye Productions, Raging Tempest, H Monkey, It's Fluffy, CM Brockman, Ace Pads, Aplicity, and Gapple. So that is the roster right now. I'm just gonna say hiya to H Monkey. That is the roster right now, and I am very, very excited to get started on this server now. In today's episode, I have done a little bit of work off camera. I just joined the server this morning, so this video will probably be going out either Monday or Tuesday, depending on what I can get a thumbnail done, but essentially what we are going to be talking about in this episode are just some of my goals for the server and some of the things that I want to accomplish here in Season 1. Now, the first thing is I want to build a proper base. Now, in all the different SMP servers that I've been on, have it be really, really back in the olden days with Minecore to Gold Guild to Purge to now. I've never really established myself fully. I've built a little base, I've gotten all my supplies, and I've just kind of stopped there. And then I've done group events and different collabs and such. But in this series, I really want to get myself set up on the server as to be where I can be just pretty much self-independent when it comes to having supplies, items, all that kind of stuff, while also getting items from the different shops that are going to be built at spawn, and all this awesome stuff. Also, the server is 10 days old. The server opened on January 1st, and it is now January 10th as I am recording this. That's when the first episode went out, and I'm, I know I'm 10 days late, whatever, but better late than never, right? But it is going to be an amazing experience on this server, and I'm very excited for everybody to just jump into a new series because I know content has been getting a little stale on my channel and that's mainly because the two series that I've been doing a lot are Sky Wars and SG which in and of themselves they're very basic series you do one thing in each video have it be and the differences are collabs different maps different strategies all that stuff but when it comes to SMP when it comes to the core of what Minecraft was originally meant to be about this is where it's at. This is the beauty of the game right here. And I'm very excited to be doing a lot with it. I'm very excited to be doing a lot with it as Fluffy jumps on. But it is going to be an amazing experience. And if you guys are excited for a brand new survival series on my channel, let's see how many likes we can get on today's episode. So if we can get, let's go for, let's go for something big. If we can go for 40 likes on today's video, then I'll release another Theta SMP episode this week. Now my plan is to do at least one episode a week, obviously, and at most two. So I want to get out mainly one to two episodes a week. I think that's going to be my goal. We're going to be, the episodes are going to be roughly 10 minutes long. This first one might be a little shorter, could even be a little longer, who knows. But that's the time frame that I'm going for with this series. It's just going to be, it's going to be a great series. I'm so excited for it. So let me tell you some of the building ideas that I've had. So for spawn, I was thinking, I want to do something new. I want to do something out of the box, something that people don't usually do because the enchantment shop is there. The horse shop is already there. There's a lot. We're going to go back to spawn in a second and we're just going to take a look quick. But as I'm mining ore, I'm just going to talk to you guys. So I had a couple ideas. Now, the first idea that I had is to build something that I did on Gold Guild, which was essentially an odds and ends shop. So an odds and ends shop is where I will go there every couple days and I will refill it with different items that I think is going to be beneficial. And people can go to it, they can buy from it and different get different items from it depending on the week. So different weeks we're going to have recording. Uh, different type of different weeks we're going to have different items that are varied in prices at the shop. And that was my main idea, and I want to know what you guys think about it. For those of you who have been around since the Gold Guild days, I used to call it Linky's Odds and End Shop. I'm very excited to possibly bring that back, unless you guys don't want to see it. Do you want to see a different idea? Do you want to see a completely new and original build that I've never done before, or that anyone's ever done before? Because if you guys want that, I might have to do a little bit more thinking. Also, I'm using Huawei's um, Infinite Edit in today's video. It's a very nice pack. Makes the mobs look kind of cartoony, but I like it. I think it gives it. I think it gives Minecraft a really nice feel. <gasps> Hello, bunny. How are you? You good? You good? I'm good. But I think it gives Minecraft a nice feel. So I'm using it in today's video. And also, I do have to apologize for the lack of content last week. Got into a little bit of a slump. 
but I am out of it, and I'm so excited to be just doing SMP again. There's going to be a lot of awesome stuff happening now. Ooh, looks like someone's been rebuilding here, or replanting trees. There's going to be a lot of awesome stuff happening on the server and in the future of my channel, which I'm very excited for. Also, this video may or may not have a thumbnail. If I can get a thumbnail done in time, I'll add it with this video, but if not, this video is going to have to go out on its own. Now, the logo, I might just throw on the top, but... We'll have to see. So, we are here at spawn. Little laggy at spawn. Drops on frames a bit, but it's okay. So, we're going to start at the spawn center if we head back up here. So, this is the center of spawn. This is where all new players spawn in. I love the design of spawn. I think it looks beautiful. Better than Purge's um, Season 2 spawn. Better than Gold Guild spawn. It looks great. Nice little wheat designs on the sides here with the hay bales in the center. I think that looks excellent. There's Fluffy. Over here, we've got a little level 30 enchantment shop, or a level 30 enchantment center where you can get, like, knockback 2 on a stone tray. I really want that, but we could. Here, it's reserved for Bruno. This is the nether portal design. We cannot go into the nether just yet. We're going to be going in as a group in a couple days slash a week or so, and that should be really fun. Down here is just a little bridge going off into the spruce forest. A new build that actually sprung up today after I joined the server. This is Gapple's wood shop. Payments, leaves, vines... Acacia wood, jungle wood, oak wood, birch, spruce, and dark oak. I actually might buy some dark oak, but that's the new shop that just appeared. It's pretty cool, and then the bridge leading off into the spruce forest where we were before. Here, it looks like it is claimed for Scorpy's Bakery, which is going to be cool. And if we head down this direction, we'll go through like a little clockwise tour of, the, or counterclockwise tour of the spawn. Down here, there's only one build right now, and that is, what is that? Uh, Raging Tempest Enchanted Bookshop. Gapple actually had one of these on Gold Guild, which is actually pretty cool. A lot of, of neat callbacks to the olden days on the servers. Rise build in there. Road looks like it's going to extend that way, and the road will also be extending this way across this little bridge that goes over the water here. What is this? The Isle of Tempest. So, is this an island? Oh, it actually is. Yeah, it's a little, it's its little own island. I mean, it's, it's separated by one block, which kind of makes it look man-made, but yes, it is an island. That's actually pretty cool. I'm very excited to see what he does with this. Maybe like a cool tower or something I think would be pretty neat. So we'll see what he ends up doing with this. So now we're going to go to the opposite side of the spawn. We're going to take a look at what's there. That's where main the main major builds are being done right now. And that's probably where I'll plot mine once I get some more supplies. In the second episode, I should be more established. Hopefully I have full iron armor, enchanted, all that good stuff. h one is right there. If we head over here, we have two shops. So this is Pyrus' snack shop. I actually might be buying from here. Two diamonds for mutton. There's stone pit. Ooh, thank you. Thank you very for the one for one steak. But um he sells mutton and steak. It looks like he's pretty much sold out chicken and pork. Yeah, he seems to be pretty sold out right now. Does this connect to something? Either that or just hasn't stocked it yet. But I'll probably be using this in the future, which would be pretty cool. Don't blow up, don't blow up. No 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 no. We cannot have a creeper blowing up right at spawn. There needs to be a little bit better lighting at spawn. We have Voss's horse shop open for business, we can buy a variety of horses. So I'll probably get them on ca in a, like a video or a uh, TeamSpeak channel. Maybe I'll buy one in a couple episodes. I think that'll be pretty cool to have our own horse. Payment and, what did that say? Payment and products down below. So I guess he sells saddles and things like that. Armor, name tags, saddles. Oh, he has all of it stocked. I re uh, this is the first time seeing the name tags in this texture pack. I really like the look of all this cartoony stuff. Armor, he has it still. I might go ahead and buy these before I even get the horse. To purchase a horse, please contact Voss on Skype slash Twitter. I'll be sure to do that. Team speaker in-game. Thanks for the visit. Payments. So these are our payments, apparently. <laughs> How much did the horses cost? Pyrus's horse. How much do the... Do, how much do they actually cost on their own? I think maybe... Maybe they all cost different values depending on, like, their speed and their health or all that kind of stuff. But that's actually pretty cool. So I'll probably be buying from it in the future. Now, it looks like Voss... Was this Voss? This is Voss, right? No, that this is Pyrus. This is Pyrus' snack shop. But it looks like he's got a little wheat farm in the back here, and also a sugarcane farm if that belongs to him, and a little door over there. Do we want to go check that out? I think we're going to head over here and check that out. But yeah, let me know in the comment section if you guys want me to do my odds and end shop. I think it'd be a pretty cool idea. And also, I'm going to cut in a second. Sure, my base is. Oh, this is H Monkey's hole. So he's got a little cactus farm down here. Seems to be expanding into like a little mining shaft area. It's pretty neat. Everybody is fairly established on here already. So I'm kind of the slow goer at this. But I think it's going to be awesome. So now, guys, I'm going to make a cut. I'm going to go to my base. And I'm going to show you guys what I have done so far this morning. It's only been a couple hours since I've been on the server. So I haven't really been give I haven't really gotten the chance to do much. But I have made some progress. Alrighty, guys. We are back now. This is what I've been doing. So a little bit. It's pretty close to spawn. This is my first shop. Or not shop. First base on the server. So... 
I decided to build at the top of the mountain here. It's got a nice overlook of spawn. It really looks pretty cool. So if we go up these stairs, which I've wrapped around the mountain here, we'll go to the top and we can get to see the nice little view that we have of our world. And it actually looks pretty nice. So as you can see from this side, we see the vast plains area and over there, you can see the beginnings of the spawn. So I've got a pretty nice view of the server. If we pop the clouds on, you can also see the clouds and all that good stuff. But this is the stuff I've accumulated. Not too much yet, but I'm going to be working on it, and I'm very excited. So uh, behind us, we also have the spruce biome, which means we have access to so much wood that we're never going to have a problem. Apparently, there's a mob grinder. But it's just, I'm so excited for the server, and I hope you all are too. This is my base so far. In the next episode, we're going to get started on building our little watchtower at the top here. I think that's what I'm going to be going for this season. We're going to be doing a watchtower design at the top of the hill. This is a hill. It's not really tall enough to be a mountain, but you know what? Let's call it a mountain. But at the top of this mountain, there's going to be a watchtower. Now, the watchtower is going to lead down into the mountain, and it's going to have a huge underground section to it. That's the idea I have right now. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And yeah, welcome everybody to the Theta SMP server. If we can go for 40 likes, that'd be very much appreciated if you all enjoyed. And as always, I've been Linky, and we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.